Welcome back to Comigan TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the pop television number 662. This is Carmen San Diego. <laughs> All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the clamshell. Uh, this clamshell does not have clips. Uh, and something you'll notice also about it is the clamshell itself is kind of frosted almost, it looks like. Uh, it's not completely 100% tra transparent like with most clamshells. It's got this kind of a frosted look to it. I don't know how well uh, you can tell that on the camera, but it's kind of a frosted like feel, almost like ice, like an ice cube. Very cool. Then on the packaging, the box here, uh, Pop Television, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? 662. Only at GameStop, Carmen San Diego vinyl figure. Uh, you will notice this is from the early 90s, late 80s uh, game show. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Not to be confused with Fox Kids TV's Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego, which was the animated series that lasted throughout the majority of the 90s. Um, the big, the main difference is in Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, Carmen kind of had reddish colored hair. Um, whereas where, in, where on Earth is Carmen San Diego and Where in Time is Carmen San Diego, uh, she had black hair. Uh, I'm not, I, I don't really like the red hair look because she's Hispanic, she should have darker hair. Uh, I know some Hispanics ha are have been known to have uh, lighter colored hair, but for the most part, uh, they have dark hair. There's no real getting around it. Um, it's just the way it is. Uh, genetics, pretty much. Uh, but very nice. There you see a map behind her. On the display side and on the back the where in the world is Carmen San Diego logo along with a see-through drawing of her pretty cool pretty cool now let's go ahead and get into the vinyl figure itself uh, first thing you notice about this vinyl figure is that the legs her bottom half from the waist down is transparent. Uh, I'm not sure why they did that. Um, your guess is as good as mine on that. Maybe it's because in the uh, logo you only usually see from the waist up. Um, it's kind of cool. I'm not sure if there are variants where you know she's fully painted. But if you'll notice on the box, uh, she is fully colored. Um, so maybe that's the chase figure is the fully colored one. Who knows? But anyway, very nice likeness of Carmen. Uh, I hope they do a wear on earth as Carmen San Diego because that version, uh, the look of that one, uh, just looks a lot better to me. Uh, she looks like a Hispanic woman. Um, 
as, as she should. This, she uh, kind of makes her, with the red hair, kind of makes her look like, um, like, like she's Irish, you know? Um, and that's really, in her backstory, her heritage, um, Her heritage doesn't really play a huge part into who she is because she was um, put up for adoption. Uh, she lived in a foster home uh, or in an orphanage, I believe. And anyway, you can find read, uh, see more about that in the history and origins of Carmen San Diego video we did right here on Come Again TV. But anyway, as you can see here, she's got red and yellow earrings. Maybe the yellow is supposed to be gold. Who knows? Uh, but on the band of the hat, there is a little bit of paint bleeding. Not too much. Um, but mainly... Like right there where it goes from the band to the red... Um, other than that the paint doesn't look too terribly bad uh, it kind of fades down into the transparent portion of her uh, still a very nice figure see under her hat there she does have two eyes <laughs> uh, the buttons on her jacket Carmen is known for her red uh, fedora and her red trench coat. Um, those were mainstays for her. And now Netflix is working on a new series, which should be out in 2019, called simply Carmen San Diego, which I cannot wait for. I introduced my kids to Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego, the 90s animated series. They enjoyed it. I uh, kind of wish they'd bring that back. I love the artwork for it, uh, the style, uh, the educational elements of it were great. Uh, of course, Carmen San Diego started out as a computer game. An educational computer game uh, for grade school children. And it just blew up from there. It became extremely popular, so they created the game show starring Lig starring Lynn Thigpen as the chief. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Lynn Thigpen is, she played the moon on Bear in the Big Blue House. Uh, she played uh, Ella Farmer on The District, which stars Craig T. Nelson. Uh, she played in um, Lean on Me, which starred Morgan Freeman. Uh, she, she's been in a number of movies and TV series. She was on All My Children for a while, uh, which was a soap opera on ABC. Uh, but I digress. I'm straying away from the pop itself. Great pop. I saw this at GameStop. I picked it up. Uh, of course, I picked it up in a bundle of other pops, uh, which I had also picked up Hans Gruber from Die Hard. Um, I really hoped to find John McClane, but they didn't have John. They only had Hans. Um, so if you'll stay tuned, I'll be reviewing Hans next. And what better time of the year to, to review Hans Gruber than at Christmas time? Because Die Hard is the ultimate Christmas movie. So anyway, there you have it, my friends. Pop Television, Carmen San Diego, number 662. Take care, and have a merry holiday season. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.